Throughout the history of film, it is no surprise that Italian Americans have been stereotyped. They have mainly been cast as members of the mafia, boxers, and have been portrayed as having large families with high emotions. All of these stereotypes and the emotions the characters feel are not only revealed in the script, but also through other cinematic elements. I'm going to be exploring how certain filming techniques, including camera work, sound effects, camera angles, lighting, score, and long shots supplement the emotions and portrayals of these Italian-American characters. These cinematic elements alter how the viewers perceive the characters. I will be focusing on some of the most well-known movies that have depicted Italian-American characters across the range of the 20th century, starting with one of the earliest depictions of Italian-Americans on film, The Black Hand. I will also be looking at Raging Bull and A Bronx Tale, two depictions from later in the 20th century. Specifically, I will be focusing on the stereotypes and emotions of the main male characters of these films and how cinematic elements contribute to these. To start, the 1906 film The Black Hand is full of cinematic choices that amplify the stereotypes of the Italian-American man. Since the film contains no dialogue, the other cinematic elements, such as facial expressions, props, and music, play a crucial role in conveying who exactly the Italian-American men were, that is, specifically, as corrupt men part of a crime organization. A lot of Italian-American men of the time were believed to be part of the Black Hand, an infamous crime organization. According to the article Black Hands and White Hearts by Giorgio Bertolini, Italian Americans were characterized in early gangster films as violent. This satisfied what the middle class film goers wanted to see on screen, which was a fictionalized life of Italian Americans. This, of course, led to the general public assuming Italian Americans were involved with crime organizations. One of the cinematic elements that most directly contributes to this stereotype is the emphasis on certain props in the frame. For instance, the emphasis on the letters the black hand write to the shop owner demonstrate their anger and determination to get their way. This visual and narrative device, as Bertolini calls it, consumes the entire frame for a lengthy shot after the black hand members are shown writing the letters. The writing is decipherable for viewers, which is crucial in convincing the audience that these men are criminals, since there is no dialogue in the film. The letter contains a skull and crossbone symbol, which is usually used to symbolize death or danger. The text in this specific letter says things like, We will take your Maria and blow up your shop to depict the seriousness of the anger of these men. Another technique used in the film to convey the stereotype of dangerous mob men and the anger of these men is the music that supplements the film. At parts where the Black Hand members are doing something really wrongful, the tempo of the music picks up with a great crescendo of sound. The tone becomes more chaotic and alarming, which heightens audience anxiety and conveys the men message that something bad is occurring because, again, there is no dialogue to do so. One scene that exemplifies this is the kidnapping scene. As you can hear, the music will increase in tempo and volume and have an alarming nature to it. Also, the scene is unique in that it is one long take, or a continuous shot. This not only depicts the bustling nature of the streets in this Italian-American neighborhood, but also demonstrates towards the end how easy it is for the Black Hand to kidnap. This makes them appear to be seasoned criminals. This long take is not too long, so the pacing remains fairly quick, again emphasizing this idea that the Black Hand are experienced criminals. The continuous shot paired with the increasing intensity of the music exponentially increases viewers' on edgedness, which ultimately results in their perception of the black hand as scary people. All of these film techniques add to the stereotypes of Italian Americans being corrupt and crime affiliated, so Italian Americans would be convicted of crimes in real life. Films that have consistent portrayals of people of certain ethnicities, such as Italian Americans, influence public perception of these people. Another film that uses sophisticated filming techniques to convey the emotions and stereotypes of Italian American characters is the 1980 film Raging Bull. The movie depicts the rise and downfall of the boxer Jake LaMotta and most famously utilizes the boxing ring as an allegory for anything one may do in life. I will mainly be focusing on the sound effects and camera movements in this film. 
First, the sound effects used in the scene where Jake beats up his brother and wife match the sound effects used in the boxing ring scenes. One specific thing to note is the shattered glass used for when Jake smashes his brother's head into the door is the same sound of the paparazzi cameras during the boxing rounds. Jake is depicted as a man with deep-rooted anger and jealousy that reflect his own insecurities, which is not uncommon for the Italian-American man on screen. He does not only release his anger in the ring, but also on his family members, as we see in the scenes where he is fighting with his brother. His jealousy shines through constantly since he always suspects that his wife, Vicky, is cheating on him. The choice to put in mirroring sound effects in the violence at home in his private life and the violence in the rink in his public life accentuate Scorsese's message that the ring is applicable to other areas of life. Also, symbolic placement is important in this scene as well. In this scene, as well as in many others, there are signs that Jake is a devoted Catholic man, again, typical for Italian-American characters. Although he may appear to be a devoted member of the Catholic Church, he is never seen going to church in the film, unlike other films that portray Italian-American men. Also, it is interesting that there are always signs of Catholicism when Jake is in situations that seem to go against the morals of the Catholic Church. In the part of this scene where Jake is seen fighting with and abusing Vicky in their bedroom, there is a cross that you can't miss due to its placement center frame above the bed and its bold nature. Also, when he first begins seeing Vicky prior to splitting up with his first wife, Vicky and him are in the bedroom and there is a photo of Jake and his brother with rosary beads draped on the frame. This particular placement of religious iconography is important because it reminds the audience that his actions in these scenes are sins against the church. In the piece Catholicism and Violence in Films of Martin Scorsese, Raging Bull is discussed at length due to the frequent religious iconography appearing in the violent film. An interesting concept that was touched upon in the article was Jake's desire to be a godlike figure that people worship. Jake was depicted as Catholic, and the set pieces and props in the film demonstrate how Catholicism was a large part of Italian-American life in the 20th century. However, this does not always mean that Italian-Americans were depicted in a good way. Like Jake, most Italian-American characters commit sins that the church would deem wrongful. Returning back to the discussion of Jake's jealousy in regards to Vicky, the video essay, What's So Great About Raging Bull, from a matter of film, demonstrates how camera work and pacing emphasize this message. The video essay describes how point of view and slow motion shots intensify conveying Jake's emotions of jealousy. For instance, she kisses other men she knows on the cheek as a typical greeting gesture. These shots are slowed down and from Jake's perspective to highlight the extent of his jealousy. His insecurities lead to aggression, which is a common quality of Italian-American males in film. Of course, when discussing the cinematic elements of Raging Bull, it is crucial to discuss the details of the evidently well-thought-out and unique camera work in the boxing scene specifically. It is clear that the Italian-Americans, such as Jake LaMotta in this film, are being stereotyped as violent. There are point-of-view shots and shots where the camera pans in semicircles and circles rapidly that are extremely disorienting for the audience. As the video essay What's So Great About Raging Bull points out, the flashing camera sound effects in these scenes were created by smashing light bulbs, increasing the violent energy of the scene. Also, the punches are exaggerated sound effects as well all increasing intensity for the audience. Due to all these elements, the audience really finds themselves immersed in the violence. This demonstrates how Italian-American men are typically depicted as violent and abusive, especially in the boxing genre. Other gangster films depict Italian-Americans in a similar light as well. In the 1993 film A Bronx Tale, director Robert De Niro portrays his Italian-American characters through specific camera work and lighting, feeding into the norms of the gangster genre, as well as the stereotypes of Italian-American gangsters. A Bronx Tale tells the story of a young boy, Cologido, or C, growing up under the wing of the most infamous Italian-American in the neighborhood, Sonny, against his father's will. According to Robert Warshow's piece, The Gangster as Tragic Hero, 
Gangster films adhere to the same dramatic patterns. Gangsters are a persona of the imagination in an imaginary city where crime is often glorified. Thomas Schatz, in his The Gangster Film, describes gangsters as the perverse alter ego of the ambitious, profit-minded American male. He also explains that there are certain cinematic settings and sound elements that define the gangster genre. To name a few, scenes typically play- take place in the shadowy nights of urban areas with exaggerated sounds of screeching tires and gunshots. Sonny is portrayed as a powerful Italian-American mobster. Sonny is typically seen in darker lighting. Shots explains this to be a key element of depicting the gangster in film. Especially in the beginning of the film, this adds to the concept that Sonny's power is great and unattainable for most. It also makes him seem immensely intimidating, building upon the idea that if you are not on his good side, it's bad news for you. In scenes where Sonny is fighting, the camera is tilted up on him. Also, it is typically a close-up or a medium shot. This allows for his face and body to dominate the frame. This accentuates the power dynamics of the neighborhood as well. It adds on to the idea that he is the most powerful and will get his way. For instance, these types of shots occur when Sonny and his men are fighting the biker gang in their bar. Sonny dominates the frame while finishing off every single one of them to prove who is on top in the neighborhood. Also, Also, again as displayed here on the slides, The scene where Sonny is teaching C how to play a game with dice is another example of using the camera tilt up. When the camera shoots from this angle, Sonny is yelling at a man who he wants out of the basement where they are rolling the dice. The man is taken away to prove Sonny's dominance over him. So, shooting from an upward angle accentuates Sonny's dominance over others. The Italian Americans are often seen as corrupt yet powerful mob leaders who value the people closest to them but will harm people who do not obey them. Most of these gangsters have a rise and downfall. As Schatz explains, the gangster must be on top of his limited world for some time in the film. Since many gangster films have the same structure, this leads to stereotypes for Italian Americans of being involved in crime and violence. As seen with these three films, The Black Hand, Raging Bull, and A Bronx Tale, Italian-Americans' emotions and stereotypes are conveyed through cinematic elements and film techniques. Italian-Americans were depicted as angry, jealous, violent, and corrupt, and typically seen in roles such as boxers and powerful mob leaders. All of these emotions and stereotypes are heightened by choices such as tilting the camera, panning the camera in unique ways, long shots, and using certain audio cues such as exaggerated sound effects and loud music with a fast tempo. These elements led to the public believing the stereotypes of Italian Americans in film. The success of these films led to the creation of similar films where Italian Americans were depicted in a similar light. Thank you for watching Cinematic Elements and the Emotions and Stereotypes of Italian American Characters.